it's time to talk about what I want to read in September. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and today it is time for my September TBR. Now today is going to be a short one because I have my romantic a thon coming up in mid-September and from that point on I'll probably switch into fantasy or romance mode. So I wanted to talk about just a few books today. I really had to try and limit myself that I wanted to read before that readathon starts and I'll be posting a whole separate TBR for my romance -y readathon of course right before it starts. So with that, let's get into the other books that I want to read in September and please make sure to go check out my announcement video for my readathon and please check out all of the info and stuff that I have up on my Instagram. My TBR is going to be three physical books and then three Kindle books and every day I take my Kindle work with me and I read at lunch so if I'm reading like a physical book at the moment I'll probably read my Kindle books like while I'm at work so I can get more reading in that way. The first book that I want to start off with this month that is going to be the priority for me is Gods and Monsters for Shelby Marin and this is the conclusion to the Serpent and Dove trilogy. I have been loving this series so much. I love this silver edition that we have for our final book. The end of the second book had me so shook. I really want to figure out what's going on in this one. This one just gives me really good fall vibes so I want to pick this up right at the beginning of fall and just get myself in that fall mindset. It also is a bit of a fantasy romance so it's gonna get me in the mood for my romantic a thon and if I needed to put it off until the readathon I could fit into one of my prompts even though that's not the plan. However, so this is the whole series and look at this color theme together. I love it. So Serpent and Dove. I've read this twice now and I just I just really love it. It definitely is like a YA romantic fantasy, I would call it. Let's look at these character cards that I have stored in here. So this is Cosette Monovicine. I hope I'm saying that right. I obviously do not have a background in French. Read Diggory. And these were um, a pre-order benefit. Ansel Diggory. And Louise Leblanc. So two years ago, Louise Leblanc fled her coven and took refuge in the city of Caesarine, where witches like Lou are being hunted. Reed Diggory is sworn to the church as a truster, meaning he is focused on eradicating witches from existence. However, after a wicked public stunt forces Lou and Reed into holy matrimony, we have a marriage between a witch and a witch hunter. It's so good. I love it. Like, the personalities of this couple is just really what makes them shine. Like, Lou is just so crass and loud and fun, but I, like, love her because she really stands up for herself. And then we have Reed, who is just, like, as Maddie likes to call him, a pious potato. Ugh, it's great. So it was originally a duology and then got lengthened to a trilogy. And in this middle one, we really got to explore more of the lands around Cesarine, um, as well as more of the La Dame Rouges, which is the clan that Coco is from. So we got more character development from Coco, which was really good to see. And the ending. Be still my heart. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to reading this one. Next is an arc that I have in it is the Splendor by Brina Shields and this one is out on September 28th. And the tagline is, within the enchanted walls of the Hotel Splendor lies the truth that Juliet is desperate to find. So when Juliet's sister Claire returns from a weekend trip, a magical hotel upon a hill, she comes back changed and her love for her sister has just vanished into thin air. Deeply unsettled, Juliet decides to investigate the hotel for herself. It is run by the talented young magician Henry and is full of illusions and mysteries. Every wonder seems to take Juliet's attention away from the mystery that she's so focused on unraveling. Juliet is uncertain whom she can trust in this hotel. The Splendor promised Juliet her dreams, but the longer she stays, the more it feels like a nightmare. Okay, I love mysterious hotel settings, and again, this just seems like very fall, so I'm very excited to read this one and get a review up. This one is a bit more tentative, but this is The Queen's Resistance by Rebecca Ross. I recently read The Queen's Rising in July, and so I really want to be able to finish up this duology. The Queen's Rising follows Brianna, who is learning to become a passion of knowledge at a boarding school um, with other girls. However, something unthinkable has happened to her, and on the night of the solstice, she's left without a patron. 
which means that she cannot become a mistress of knowledge. She is dejected, but when a, an offer from a mysterious lord comes through offering to sponsor her, she decides to take a chance even though she's not quite sure of his intentions. And from there she discovers that she is embroiled in a plot to help overthrow the tyrannical rule of the kingdom in the north. It's just a really good political fantasy and I really enjoyed it and I want to see what happens in the sequel because I think the first one was wrapped up really really nicely so I'm interested to see how the story is changed and continued in a different way because it's definitely not like the arc of the series where a lot is left open-ended like I thought like the first one could have ended and just ended there. Next I'm going to switch to the romances that I want to be reading this month and I really, really want to focus on finishing series that I've started. I made a TikTok on this, but there's just like a lot of romance series that I've started and haven't finished yet and the books are out. So like, I want to finish them. I hate leaving series unread. Like I want to finish the whole series. I want to like check the box off the list and I literally have a list of all the series that I need to finish. So the first series that I will be working on this month is the Briar U series by Elle Kennedy, which is just in time because the Legacy, which is a follow-up epilogue compilation to the Off Campus series is coming out soon. So the play is the third in the Briar U series, which is the spinoff to the Off Campus series. So this one follows Demi and Hunter, and Hunter is a character that we have seen in the past novels. Hunter is the new captain of the hockey team, and after last season's distractions, he has decided to swear off women and put hockey first. And because of that, he has decided to befriend one of his classmates, Demi. And he thinks he's safe because Demi has a boyfriend, so they can just be friends. Except when Demi and her boyfriend break up, and now she's looking for a rebound. And avoiding her is impossible as they are paired up for a year-long project in school. However, Hunter thinks that he can resist her. I just love Elle Kennedy. Like, I love all of her series that I've read so far. Like, they just give me so much serotonin. So I'm really looking forward to reading this romance and getting back into the world of Briar University. And next we have The Dare by L. Kennedy, which is the fourth in the Briar U series. Okay, so this one follows Taylor and Connor. So for Taylor, college was supposed to be the time when she would grow out of her ugly duckling complex and spread her wings. However, she ends up in a sorority full of mean girls. She has a hard time fitting in, so when her sisters issue her a challenge, she decides to take them up on it. The dare is to seduce the hottest hockey player in the junior class. Taylor doesn't think that he'll say yes, but he throws her through a loop and decides that he loves playing a prank on people, and so he is a game for pretending that they would hook up. Even crazier is that he wants to keep pretending. Ah, oh, we love a good fake dating trope. Love it. And this isn't the first time El Kennedy has done fake dating. I just love it every time. The last romance book that I want to get to this month is The Marriage Contract by Katie Robert. I'm a big fan of Katie Robert and I've been working my way through her backlist and because she just released The Bachelor's Betrayal, which is a follow-up series to her O'Malley series, I want to go back and reread the original O'Malley series before I read that book. So the first one of that being The Marriage Contract. So Teague O'Malley pretty much hates anything that has to do with his family business but and when his father orders him to marry Kalisa Sheridan to create a business alliance, he wants nothing to do with her. But then Teague actually meets her and sees the bruises on her neck and the fight in her big blue eyes and he decides he will do anything to protect her. But the closer they get, the more trouble they're in because Callie's keeping a dark secret. It's mafia book. I love mafia romance. I definitely want to read more and more. Um, these are just the ones I really tried to make my TBR short. I can make my TBR books and books long, but I wanted to make it achievable and short, especially considering I am planning a whole readathon later this month. So I think I can actually do it this month, guys. I think I can stick to my TBR and read it all because it's only six books. Oh, never mind. I'm going to add a seventh. I'm going to add a seventh. I'm going to do it. Because I wanted to make more progress with the series Yon of the Dawn. I'm going to be reading volume 9. Yona of the Dawn follows Yona who is pretty much a sheltered princess and her father is assassinated and so she must flee with her bodyguard hack and they are on a journey to take back her throne and I just love it so much. It's so cute but like so fierce and like I just love everything about it. And so this manga is like 31 volumes long. I am committed. I've been reading this manga like very sporadically like probably like once or twice a month for like the past year sometimes even less sometimes more um but i want to put this on my tbr so that i actually get to it because i do really love reading manga i want to read more manga and i want to make sure that i get to this novel so that's my tbr of seven books 
hopefully it's achievable with the other readathons that I'll be doing. I don't know. I think I can do it. Let me know down below if you think that I can do it. And with that, let me know in the comments also what you're most looking forward to reading in September. Please, please check out my announcement video for my readathon and consider joining because it would just be so much fun to have you. And with that, have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.